Pinnat Media, Marty Blackborough, go check him out, yeah? Listen. Growing up I had a dream, something no, no one else could, could see. see. Tell me what it means when your faith has fallen beneath your knees. The people need someone like me to show them photography in public is not a crime, you'll see. Marty go grab the camera, the order is live and ready They got mad though it's legal, abusing power, the petty The donut must be forgetting, the founder of Pinnat Media They're Leaving them sweating, going live on YouTube You can see them regretting, this ain't a joke I ain't playing around, section 43 ain't working if I see you about I'm the legal representation all over my nation So be ready to see me piggy, I will blow your house down Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to the channel if it's your first time here around here. So, we're just having a little chill today, we're just having a cruise round and we thought, the rain's really bad, it's chucking it down. So let's stay in the car and do his photography. So what we're going to do, um, we're just going to go around a few places, um, find a few interesting offices, you know, whatever. We're going to park up outside and I'm just going to sit here, hanging out at window, got my big lens as well. I'm just going to sit there taking photos and... Um, see if anyone gets triggered and comes and asks us why and what we're doing and um, I don't know what response I'll give yet but I'll think about it. I might play it like um, a spy, you know. Be all, I'm sorry but I can't tell you what I'm doing. We'll, we'll try that one. Let's see anyway. Let's see how it goes. We don't want to get soaked so we're just going to stay in car. It is indeed, yeah. Um, I'm not going to tell you that either. You'll know. You'll know, trust me, you'll know. Don't walk up to the car with cameras, common sense. No, we won't, we'll continue, okay? We'll be continuing, okay? I'm, I'm not going to go into that way until I'm done. Can I ask why you're filming us? Um, you can you have permission to film us or take our photographs. You don't need permission. You don't need permission. You do. No, you don't. Yeah, taking photographs. You don't need permission. Look, it's don't against the law. No, it's it not. Is. Stop talking. It so, can I ask you taking it for? No, no you can that. ask, but you won't get it. You, you can't. We can't tell you. Okay. Uh, you know the chap with the beard on that came out to us. Don't take my photos because you don't have my permission. I know. I don't know which guy with the beard. There's nothing you can do about it, to be honest. Yeah, I was ringing the police and reporting the right. registration. No problem. So guys, yeah, these two here have just been over and approached me. Um, why are we taking photos and stuff outside here? Um, I, just, I said to him, I'm just not, I'm, I can't tell you what I'm doing at this time. That's what I said three times, I can't tell you what I'm doing at this time. So um, I just thought I'd leave them to it. Um, I wasn't going to get into a, like a, a, a heated conversation or anything. And um, I called him, I said, listen, I can't tell you what I'm doing, bro. And he goes, you're not my bro, five is from it, so I just rolled my window up and went by then. Just let the window go up. Um, so I don't know, and then they took a picture of me, so let's see what happens. Guys, so this car, right, police car, we thought we were following us. Um, we thought we were end up getting stopped again, so what we've done is we've flipped the tables and uh, we've started following it. So we've, uh, I'm trying to keep a... Uh, on me from my feet. Yeah. I'm trying to keep a low profile. Oh, yeah, down there. Yeah, you can go straight forward along. Oh, can you? Yeah. Here we go, guys. It's down there. You see it? So we're following the police car. We're following the police car. He's going to. He's going to come on the Tempest Road yeah, again. Yeah. He's, he's, he's gone left there, so we go left. We go left here. Yeah. Now it could be. Uh, we're still on it, guys. We're still on it. Looks like it's going to be a uh, right, right, right onto Tunstall Road. So it is a temporary loss, I repeat, it is a temporary loss due to a fucking red light. Target has been relocated, I can confirm. Target has been relocated and it is currently on the Arlingtons, Arlington Road. Stand by. On to us, guys. Yeah, they're on. Get same car. We were just in the area, so I thought we'd pop down here. Now, Adelbeck, it says, um, formerly known as Eastmore. So this is a secure children's centre and it houses uh, prisoners from the ages of 10 to 14. Um, the ages before you'd go to um, what you would call a young offenders institution. Now, it's, they used to be, if I look at that, let me flip the camera around for you. 
So here, it actually used to be a bar still back in the day. And that's the old buildings over there. They're all uh, derelicts now. But it used to be a bar still. Um, and now it's this big new shiny building. Let's go over here. I go back. There's, um, there's unfortunately there's not really a lot to see, guys. Um, there's the reception there. But yeah, Eastmore Secure Children's Centre, or it might be known as Adel Beck now. Um, so yeah, a miniature little prison in Leeds. And another thing about this, it's not run by Her Majesty's Prison Service and it's not run by a private company. Well, could say it is. It's actually run by social services. Um, it's run by Leeds City Council, which is, you know, strange, but it's a prison. Um, I can tell you some of the things in here. This here is an um, Astro turf pitch, and they've also got like a driving track around the back as well, where um, they have like a beach buggy and stuff like that, where the kids can learn how to fix them, and then they get to have a drive on it as well, which is slightly baffling, considering it's meant to be a place where you're going to get punished. But yeah, you can, you can drive in there. How mad is that? You can drive. I found that absolutely shocking. I did. It seems that there's people out playing at the moment, I can hear them. I can see balls getting kicked up really high, look. Let's have a look. Ah, it stops now. So yeah, there's there's not there's not really not here guys. Not a lot to look at at all. Eddie's gone in for a little further snoop. I see some gates over there, so I'm guessing that's where the um, prisoners would be taken in. Um, like yeah, like I said, I don't really know too much about this place, but I knew it were here, so I thought I'd come and have a nose here. Um, but yeah, as I said, not a lot going on. Got a smoking shelter over there. That's about it. <laughs> There's really nothing to see, guys. Really, is nothing to see. We could have a little walk around, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a strange little place, guys. Children's children's prison. You wouldn't really think of sending a ten-year-old to prison, would you? Eleven-year-old. It's yeah. It's slightly. You must have to do something quite bad. I mean, so I, 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 I'm pretty sure that you know, a ten, eleven-year-old could get away with a fair bit, you know, before being put into prison. What do you reckon, guys? Must be for like really serious offences, I would have thought. Can't see um, a 10, 11 year old getting locked up for out petty, if you know what I mean. Surely the courts would have to, they'd have to, there'd have to be some sort of like public safety matters there, wouldn't there, to um, put someone in prison at that age. It's quite, I find it quite shocking that you'd jail someone at that age, but I'm sure that, I'm sure that when people are sent to a place like this, they, um, they must, you know, in essence, deserve it. Um, so obviously it's quite a serious thing, isn't it, to lock someone up at such a young age. I'm sure it could have quite a bad effect on a lot of them. But from what I've been told, it's quite cushy in here. Yeah, it's quite cushy. There's not like, it's not like a jail, like you'd ever know anywhere else. Um, that being said, I'm sure there's still possibly bad staff in there, because, you know, there's bad apples everywhere. But. It is quite a nice little place. I think I might be getting approached, I don't know. But it's quite interesting. Can I help you? Like I say. No mate, no. How are you? Uh, what are you filming around here for? Just talking about the building and what it is. So they don't, they don't, from what I understand from what it says, they don't have um, offices here, they have like care staff. Care staff. Yeah, it's... Um, it's run by effectively <coughs> social services, Leeds City Council. Right. Um, but yeah, so that's Adel Beck, guys. There's not there's not much else that I can really show you here. Um, it's minimal. The building looks fairly modern, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like a new building. Yeah.
Yeah, from what I remember on the website, it only holds some like 50, 50 um, yeah. Yeah. prisoners. Well, I think if I'm correct, they actually call them trainees in here, not prisoners, yeah, trainees. But yeah, from what I remember, I think it was 40, 49 or 50, I believe it was. There was uh, made Can up I ask of. You? No, no, thank you. Can um, I ask why you're filming? Yes, we're just, I'm just making a video about this place and what it is. All right, okay, you're not authorised. Film on the side. Oh, you don't need permission. You can ask, what's your name? Um, you can ask, yeah. And are you going to tell me? No. No. Okay, well, we'll just capture you on the CCTV and it That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no we just wanted yeah. to know what you were actually doing. Just, just literally talking about the, the what place, you're doing yeah. Your CCTV yeah. All right, but that's okay then. Yeah. Cause I'm no not, harm. I'm not trying to be offensive. No, no, it's no, fine. No, 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 that's fine. No, no, it's no, important no. that we know. What's yeah, 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 yeah. Just making a video vlog okay. about it. That's it. All right then. And Thank you're not you. authorised to use any of my imagery. On uh, you don't. You don't need permission in the public. In the I'm, public I'm accessible area. Yeah, of I'm, my imagery. Okay, I'm just checking. I understand your polite request, but I will be using it. Okay. Okay. You don't have my permission. I don't need I'm your. I don't need clear. your permission. I'm just making that clear. Yeah, but Thank you, you can't make that clear because I don't need permission. I'm asking you not to use it. I'm in a public place though. Oh, well, because we had the interaction, I'll definitely be using it, you know, to show that the staff came out and questioned me as to yeah, what I was doing. obviously we've got to look after young people. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I don't think it's, it's a bad thing that you did that at all. Yeah, okay. All right. No worries. Thank you. So, guys, as I was saying, it's made up of what I believe is the four different households, and they go by the names of York, Whitby, I think it's Fountains, and then there was something else as well. Um, I do forget. Um, I know that there was um, a guy killed, a guy who worked here called Mr. Ken. Um, he, from what I've been told by a former prisoner, was an absolute legend, and he, um, he always showed the utmost respect to people. Um, but that's only what I've been told by a single prisoner, so I can't definite on that. Um, I've also been told there was a lady called Mrs. Lee um, that was quite a nice lady. Um, I haven't actually been told about any negative staff, to be quite honest with you. I've only heard relatively positive things. Um, I know, like I said, I said to you about the workshops. Um, um, the guy who told me that they have a cooking class and stuff like that as well. Um, and um, and they, they, their cells don't have toilets in them, I've been told. So on a night time, if you need to use the toilet, you have to like ring your bell and um, they come and take you out of your cell and you go to a toilet. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a strange one. Um, yeah, there was, um, oh, what did he say is all about? There's like a tier system. So you'll be starting on like bronze, silver, gold, platinum. And um, depending on how far up you are on the level, um, there were certain nights of the week where you're able to purchase takeaways and fast food deliveries. Um, there's also higher up the chain that you get, you get to stay up a bit longer. So you get an extra hour out of bed. Um, your phone calls are all free of charge. Um, I think what would it, you either get 10 or 15 minutes a day completely free of charge. Um, and there's a, oh, what did he say about the... Um, your parents are allowed to bring um, sweets and munches into you or something like that as well. And I think he said something like you get access to that once every two days or something like that. That's it. I think I've wrapped my brain now. I can't remember much else that he said to me, to be honest with you. I, I don't know. I think, I think that's about it. But yes, yeah, so anyway, that's Eastmore Children's Secure Unit, guys. I just thought I'd um, check in and let you see it because it's not, it's not something that is, I don't think it's quite commonly known about, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I hope I um, give you a bit of information. Um, I wouldn't recommend that people really come here for audits too much, because one, there's really not a lot to see, and two, it is a, man, you don't mind it the children's prison, does it, to be fair? As long as you're not doing no wrong. But yeah, that's it, guys. So I think I'm gonna leave it there for you. Um, I'm not gonna pest. I mean, the staff that came out, eh, she was actually quite sound, wasn't she? Yeah, can't, can't knock nice. it. She was, she was very nice and sound, she was. But like I say, obviously, you know that I'm using the footage because, well, because I can. But hey, Adelbeck, 
Um, Formally, all, all it wise, pass. Pass. Yeah. Never, no point told us to be cut for yep. more told us to stop filming. Yeah. So that's always that's always a nice little pleasant one. Building. It is indeed. But as Marty said, there ain't a lot to see, so... No, there's not a lot to see. It's one that uh, a lot of auditors should come and... One thing there. that I will say as well, guys, I'm not going to do it because I just don't feel it's it's right because, you know, probably catch your children on the video, but there's no CAA drone restriction above this place. Right. There's none. Um, we are in the Class D um, airspace from the airport, but you're allowed to go up to still 120 metres but yeah, there's no restriction here, but like I said, I will not fly the drone here because, you know, capturing children on there that are locked up, I'm sure the families would not appreciate that at all. So, you know, in their interests, I will not fly the drone here. But, so that's it for me, guys, on this one. So, I hope I brought you yeah, some information. And right. as always, guys, stay safe, peace and respect.